There are many, and just to name a few, uh, the very modern and up-to-date mar commercial maritime code, the agency law, uh, the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia subscribing to many IMO uh, regulations, and the move forward to upgrade and update all the regulations and laws related to the shipping sector specifically, coupling that with a lot of laws also related to the logistics and the free zones, which are an integral part of the shipping industry. Definitely a step in the right direction, and it really gives clarity of vision to those investors who want to come and have KSA as a base uh, for their uh, regulations. A very important thing in the regulations where KSA have introduced uh, the bare boat charter registry which allows dual flagging for vessels and allows vessel owners to come and be registered at a bare boat charters which is a very important development in the right direction for KSA. I mean who can I mean to begin with it's 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 a very very fast moving uh, industry in all aspects but I can see there are a lot of laws on the pipeline to keep up with the uh, requirement of digitalization and modernization of logistics systems in specific and making sure that in and out of cargo and uh, vessels from ports, transit operation, warehousing and all related industries are up to the modern speed of digitalization but it will always be ahead of us. But they are definitely on the right ground. They are definitely moving in the right place. al Tamimi and Company Law Firm is the largest in the Middle East, and we are the largest law firm in KSA number-wise. We have three offices in Riyadh and in Jeddah and Khobar. Our team dedicated for shipping is made of seven uh, lawyers uh, distributed between Jeddah and Khobar. Um, difficulty, it's a lot to do. It's, it's a huge country with a lot of potential. So actually managing to grasp all the opportunities, apply to all the requirements is a challenge and we, we, we cannot expand fast enough actually to cope with the ongoing developments within KSA, uh, which is a good problem to have uh, on the long run. And we're happy actually of the initiative solidization also because that allows us to train and develop a much needed bilingual shipping lawyers across the Middle East. KSA is the prime example. It's a niche area. It's, it's, it's an, a challenging, exciting uh, part of law. Uh, it is something which will take you in all aspects of the law, companies' law, chartering, contracts, ports, traveling, um, uh, the pressure of analyzing the law itself and coming up with creative solutions, especially in an, in, in an area where this is still developing and becoming just now becoming a specialized area to look at. Um, so it's, it's, it's always exciting. Uh, to become a shipping lawyer. Uh, again, it's been for a very long time an area where international law firms had taken the monopoly on it. Creating bilingual professional shipping lawyer is a beautiful task by itself. And I'm happy that to say that almost all international firms around are all ex Tamimi. They're all the product of bilingual lawyers coming from, from this firm. And it gives a better way of thinking for those lawyers to grow and be part of their governments and be part of the transport ministries, the logistics ministries, the free zones ministries. It gives a better thinking mechanism for those local uh, abilities to come and say, this is our cloak, this is who we are, this is the way we think, and we can actually drive a vision for our countries being specialized bilingual shipping lawyers. We are proud to be the first firm to graduate a female Saudi lawyer. 
automatically. And now we have the vast, like we have a very, almost 50-50 as a female male lawyer. Um, it's a bit challenging taking the social background to have shipping female lawyers to go and jump over vessels, take a boat, uh, fight with vessel arrests. But honestly, the, the, the upcoming lawyers, they're up to it and they are enthusiastic and they want to be part of it. And, um, and we're more than welcoming for the female side or women input uh, to come and be part of the shipping industry. Very important. Um, us being in this industry, we do look for, forward for these opportunities to get together and do all the things we are too busy to do, which is mingle. Hi, how's it going? What's going on with you? What's going on with the other side? All the law firms are coming. All the decision makers of the industry are there in one place. We catch up, we have coffee, we have lunches, we have dinners. And actually you always come up with a little bit of more maturity out of those events because you just learned more and understood more and you had a bigger, you come out fresh with more ideas, which is, that's why these events are very, very important.